Welcome to this next weekly reflection by SCBA. It's great to have you. And as I prepared for this uh, weekly reflection, it dawned on me that we've been doing these reflections now for over a year. So we hope and pray they've been a real encouragement and a source of support to you over the last year, which has not been an easy year. But also it dawns on me that it's been a year since the World Health Organization declared coronavirus to be a worldwide pandemic. And as we reflect back over that year, but also begin to look forward with the hope of the vaccines and life coming back to some form of normality, I wonder what you're dreaming. I've been reading this book called Let Us Dream by Pope Francis. And in this, Pope Francis encourage us to, encourages us to embrace the lessons of this pandemic, but also to dream what the future might look like. What are the lessons that God is teaching us? And what kind of people might we be as we come out of this pandemic? So I thought I would dream with you today and go for a short walk around Lakeside here at Eastleigh and share with you three dreams that I'm sharing with Pope Francis for the future. So one of the things I've been dreaming about with Pope Francis is what a greater sense of unity might look like. A greater sense of unity across our Baptist churches, a greater sense of unity across the wider church, but also a greater sense of unity right across our globe, the world. I've been really encouraged that during this pandemic, during this terrible season, that so many of our Baptist churches have been connecting together, resourcing each other, inviting each other to their services and trying to encourage each other. I was also really encouraged by the Portsmouth cluster that have started a new initiative called Stronger Together. We're seeking to support uh, churches, local churches, Baptist churches uh, and, and resourcing each other and encouraging each other even more. And I would encourage us that uh, after the pandemic, that that doesn't end, but that actually strengthens, that, that, goes, that we go deeper and further and we look at ways in which we can support and journey and watch over each other as we move forward into the future. But I also pray that that would be true of the wider church. And I know many of our churches connect with other churches of other denominations across their town. And that's so important and so effective. And I pray that out of this pandemic, we would learn more about that and what that looks like and, and seek to do the things that we can do together for the glory of Jesus. But my dream goes wider than that. I just wonder what a more united world might look like. A world that's more caring, that's more supportive, where the, the West support the East, where, where the North is looking out for the South and, and where the rich particularly care for those poorer countries that there is that greater sense of understanding that we are one and we surely have learnt that through this pandemic and that we can have a dream that is not just a dream but a reality of caring supporting and being more united across our globe so the second dream that i'm sharing with pope francis is for a greater sense of equality. During this pandemic, we have seen a number of issues that have been raised in the media of equality, important issues. Black Lives Matter comes to mind, but also issues about gender and sexuality. Pope Francis in his book talks about a number of invisible inequalities within our world. And maybe through this pandemic, we're becoming more and more aware of those inequalities. He highlights particularly the inequality between the rich and the poor. And in the, even in this moment where we, we are receiving vaccines, we're discovering that the poorer countries are not going to receive them until two, 2023. If you're interested in following that up and the campaign to get vaccines to poorer countries, go to the People's Vaccine, which is encouraging and campaigning for Western governments to release the patents, the knowledge of how these vaccines work to poorer countries so they can begin to produce these vaccines themselves. 
But for, for many years now, Sue, and my, Sue, my wife and I, have been passionate about a fair economy. That we actually support and care for the producer as much as we support and care for the consumer. And I'm dreaming, I'm still dreaming, for a, a greater and better world that actually doesn't hold the principles of convenience and cheapness higher than caring for the original producer. When so many of our farmers live off a dollar a day, we need to address that balance. And so I'm dreaming for a greater sense of equality across our world. So my third dream that I'm sharing with Pope Francis is for greater care of our environment. We know through this pandemic that we as individuals can impact each other right across the globe. But it's not just in terms of humanity, it's also in terms of our environment. And we the church should be at the forefront of caring for the world that God created for us. In his book, Pope Francis talks about an island in the South Pacific uh, who are purchasing land on Samoa. And the reason they're doing this is because in 20 years time, their island will be under sea level. I'm beginning to dream and think again about what I need to do to impact the environment. Our world is sick and it needs us to change our behaviour, to change our lifestyles, to ensure that the world that we build for the future is cleaner and brighter for those that will follow us. So here are the three things that I'm dreaming for. A sense of unity, greater unity across our Baptist family, but also the wider church, but also across the world. A greater sense of equality, where we value each other and we support each other and we care for each other and we think about how we impact each other. But also a greater sense of care for the environment that we build for a cleaner and better future for those that will follow us. I hope that these dreams have inspired you to some extent and, and actually that you'll go on and dream some of your own dreams and ask God, what, what are you teaching me at this time and how do I implement that into the future? May the God of grace and peace go with you. May you know his love, may you know his goodness and may you know his guidance as he directs your paths. In Jesus' name.